All right, so this is a lesson all about sending your first email on your iPad. So what I want to talk to you about first is an email address. So there's my long email address. It's bflickinger at themetropolitanschool.com. Every email needs at least these two things for sure. It has to have an at symbol in it, and it has to have at least one dot or, or a decimal in there uh, in the address. Those things are for sure. And since it's a computer that's going to be reading this, it has to be exactly right. So if I accidentally spell school with three O's instead of just the two, it's never going to work, okay? Because it's a computer. It doesn't know that I've made a mistake and it's going to try to find some metropolitan school.com to send it to, which of course doesn't exist, so the email would never work. So uh, number one, it's going to at least have these two things. Number two, you have to type it in exactly correct. If you get one letter wrong in someone's email address, it won't go to that person. Okay, so now that we've got that, let's actually send an email to myself here. So I'm going to open up my mail right here, my mail app, and I'm going to create a new email. Up here in the top right corner is the... A uh, little symbol that I'm going to tap on. It's just a box with a little pencil on it, and that's for creating a new email. So I'm going to tap on that, and here my new message pops up. The first thing it's asking me is, who do I want to send it to? Well, I want to send it to myself, so I'm going to type in B. Flickinger. Once you've done it once in your uh, on your iPad, it's going to remember, and it's going to come up again. So I can see here from the last time, I, it's, here it is right here, B. Flickinger at themetropolitanschool.com. Now the bad news is if you send it, if you type something wrong in here, it's going to remember that too, and it's going to keep coming up. So that's why typing in someone's email address is really, really important. So this is the address I want to send it to, and I've already typed it in before. But let's just type it all in so you see how that happens. So B, flick, injure. I need the at symbol, which is just down here in the corner. There's my at. Oops, I made a mistake. At, and I'm going to type in the Metropolitan School. And there's my dot for dot com. Okay, so I finally got all that typed in. B Flickinger at the Metropolitan School dot com. I just press return. And now the next thing I need to do is come down here to the subject area, tap on that blank area next to subject, and type in whatever the subject. You must always have a subject on your email and make sure it's something appropriate, not like hello. That's not a subject. But if it's if I'm a student and I want to talk to a teacher, I might say something like question about science. So then my teacher is going to see that and know, oh, here's a student with a question about science. So make sure your subject is always appropriate to what your email is about. So that's a good subject. I'm now going to tap into what's called the body of the email. And this is where you write uh, the message to your teacher, whoever you're sending it to. And we use, as students, we use proper mail structure. So I'm going to type in dear, and let's say my teacher is Mr. Smith. So I'm going to type dear Mr. Smith. And you see how, oops, let me go back and fix that. I use a capital on Mr. and a capital on Smith, and I put a comma, and I press uh, the return button a few times to drop it down, and I could say something like, uh, when is the science report on earthworms, oops, earthworms do, with a question mark, and then you sign your emails. Even though we're going to know who it's from, we properly sign our emails. And I'm just going to say thank you with a little comma. And then go down a few more lines. And I'm going to say Brad Flickinger. Okay. Your teachers expect this. You always have to use proper mail formatting. You start off with dear and then you finish with a salutation at the end and your name at the end. So there's my nice question about science. Let me just go back up here, make sure everything's okay. The email address looks correct. I have a subject line. I have a properly formatted email. Now I can press send and there you go. You sent your first email.